Hey everybody, Sonic here, and I'm sure you heard that I'm going to college, which also means I'm finally leaving this godforsaken quarantine. Don't get me wrong, I had some good times sitting on the couch. In fact, they even found out she had a name, Charlene Couch. Now I'll be honest, it wasn't always good times lounging together, nursing a hangover, finally watching Queen's Gambit, which is wildly overrated, I might add. We also went through some rough times, like the night I ate 40 bean tacos. But, despite how many times I blasted her in the face with my disgusting bean taco farts, we would always make up. I remember the one night when I dropped a piece of General Chow's chicken in between her cushions and we finally succumbed to the passion. I spread her two soft, plush pillows and- uh, Sonic, nobody wants to hear this! Sorry, sorry. Anyway, now it's time to get back to normal. Cool. And with that, here are my crazy fucking demands before I do a single thing for season nine. Ah, uh, damn it. First, let's start with my salary. And I'm gonna be flexible here. I either want a magic genie lamp with at least two wishes left and a dog with a diamond collar and dollar sign fur like Richie Rich. Or Tony Stark's house and a little red-headed orphan I can adopt like Daddy Warbucks. Your call. How about a half-eaten bag of chocolate gold coins and that's it? So you want to play hardball, I see. If you don't get me $20 million and a Hawaiian vacation for me and Charlene, I walk. Hey everybody, Tails here, and I hope you're ready for Sonic Goes to College, where he dies off screen when a piano falls on his head and he shits himself all over the street. Okay, I'll take the chocolate, but I only want a quarter of the bag. Those things are disgusting. Now let's talk about my trailer. There's not going to be any trailers. Well then, where the hell are my two bowls of only red M&Ms, 63 cases of malt liquor, Old English preferred, and three newborn unicorns going to go? I, I don't think you're getting this. We're not dealing with a wild, wild west budget here. We're more in the range of Police Academy 4's budget. Were there capers in that one? They all had capers. Well, since it's caper money, I'll be reasonable and knock off the M&Ms. No deal. Wait. Aren't you rich? Why don't you throw some cash at this project? <laughs> no way I'm sinking any of my hard-earned fortune on this. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I feel like uh, making this season about the fans instead of the money, you know? That's a better way to show our appreciation. This is garbage. Come on, Sonic. I know you're not just about the paycheck. You're an artist who cares about his craft. Deep down, you want to do your best at any cost to give the best possible performance and knows a standing ovation or a click of a like is worth more than any ridiculous demand you can come up with. Wow, Tails. You really don't know me for shit. If I don't get Gutenberg money, I'm out. So this is it, huh? After all we've been through, you're willing to throw it all away out of greed? Hello, is this my agent? Okay, who the hell is this then? Really? The guy from ALF? Cool. Can you get me a job hosting The Tonight Show? Enough. Fine. I'll get you the dog with the dollar signs. Fuck yeah. Sonic says I'm going to college. Hey, I know it's been a while, but season nine is actually going to happen. Hang tight and thanks for your patience. Okay, roasting time. Thad Komarowski. With a name like Thad, it's got to be bad. Andrew Dangerfield. You're the most confused comedian ever. Jack and Jill went up the hill, both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with 250. Oh! Jill can't get no respect, no respect. James Adam Montgomery. Your name sounds like a president that definitely owns slaves. Ari Burson. Your name sounds like a question in gibberish. Ari Burson? Schlaw. What a blue pa. Polo Cabra. You're like a chupacabra but lamer. Gray Winter 1995. You definitely write bad poetry. Matthew Duchok. To Duchok or not to Duchok? That is the question. Nobody ever asked. Russell Downing. Your name sounds like a British estate. I think we'll have tea at Russell Downing. Thomas Zartman. You have the name of a crooked ambulance chasing lawyer. Have you pretended to slip and hurt yourself in a supermarket? Then call Thomas Zartman. I'll get you the settlement you don't deserve. Call 1-800-SHYSTER. Okay, and here's some bonus material for you. Little boy Blue. He needed the money. Oh! Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard to get her old dog a bone. When she bent over, Rover took over and she got a bone of her own. Oh! Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and wait. Along came a spider and sat down beside her and said, Hey, what's in the bowl, bitch? Oh! Three blind mice. Where the fuck are they going? Oh! And that's all, folks. It's been a long, weird journey, but we made it. Stay safe and make sure you watch Season 9 of Sonic for Hire, you jerks. Oh! Hey, this is Mike from Lowbrow. Thanks for watching our video and be sure to click like and subscribe. Maybe stick around and watch all our other funny videos. And ooh, look at that shiny new Patreon button in the middle. Maybe uh, see what that's all about.